Good afternoon, this is Paul Reiki. During the January roundtable last month, one of the folks asked Ian how he creates his present D chart of the S&P 1500. Speaking with Ian, I volunteered to show you how I create my percent D chart. It's not as complicated as Ian's, but for me it does a good job. For you new folks, the spreadsheet represents where the S&P 1500 is within its Bollinger Band, the position we call percent B. The middle, the red line is 0 0.5. When the bucket is below the middle, it's time for caution, maybe you need cash. Above or to the right of the red line, it's time to do some trading. And if we have the buckets above 0 0.7 and stays up there, it's a healthy market and you should be trading. At the bottom, we have the uh, 12 positions, or buckets as Ian calls them, of the Bollinger Band. The percent B column shows you the actual number of the percent B for each day. The days column shows you the length of the current trend. Here we had 19 down days. The point score column shows you where the majority of the stocks are within their buckets. The right hand two column shows you the percentage of stocks above the middle and the percentage of stocks below the middle. I use EdgeRater to gather the numbers each day. Uh, you can also use HGSI for this information and I'll post two charts below to show you where this can be found. After HGSI updates, we can run Edge Raider. I open up the symbol list. I check the S&P 1500. I click Update. After it's updated, I open up the template library on the right. Click on the HGSI Woodward and Brown blue button, and then I click on the percent B bucket report. I open up the symbol list on the left and I select the S&P 1500. I then click on the Excel templates tab and I click run. EdgeRater gives you a nice uh, group of charts which you can use to analyze the 1500. Uh, uh, the first one that comes up is uh, Ian's pie chart and this shows you to the left where the percentage of stocks are within their specific buckets. We can go back previous days and we can see last week the market was pretty bad. We corrected, came up. This is last Friday and this is yesterday. We've had 62% of the stocks above the middle of the bowl of Japan. The next tab shows you the uh, where the percent B sits within the Bollinger Band. We have the point score chart next. Next we have the point score. This is where I gather the information that I need. And it also gives you a nice color uh, graphic of where the uh, various stocks are. This shows you to the right we have green healthy market. We have the point score. We have the days up the number of percentage up and percentage down below the Bollinger Band. I will sh get this out of the way and we will uh, show you how I color in the various days. Present B for yesterday, this would be February 1 we had a percent B of 0 0.61. This would be the second day of the uh, current rally. Point score is 8. Percentage of stocks above 0 0.5 was 62 and below 38. I then color in the correct bucket. This would be the uh, 6 to 7 bucket. So I would click up here, click it black. There we go. 
And essentially this is done. What I also do is I will occasionally add a comment. You can see we had Santa Rally up here. We had China. This is when it corrected. This move up Friday I think was due to Japan's move. I don't trade uh, specific moves of this chart. I create and follow it to give me the mood of the market. Ian does have a few winkies about the bucket moves. Perhaps he can offer a few suggestions. Uh, hopefully this fills in how I do it and if you have any questions please post below.